Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates, but I guess it's around the 30th. But the timing is fluid, right? Because we're all at different times. We have different things happening in our lives. We're not the same person. The timing is fluid. So let's just see what comes up. What's coming in? What is coming in? You know, I see the Three of Cups reversed right off the bat. That is enemies disguised as friends. So somebody could be dealing with somebody such as, or you know of a situation where that is the story. But the Three of Cups reversed, this party is over. It's parting ways. Parting ways with old friends that really aren't your friends anymore. They're not on the same path as you or your family members. That is parting ways. Okay, there's been a lack of emotional growth. There's probably a lot of gossiping, a lot of, of complaining going on, talking behind people's backs, uh, ganging up, you know, ganging up. Um, so, hmm. the lovers reverse. Now, the lovers reverse is the end of a contract. There's a fight, perhaps. Three, three is a crowd. Three is a crowd. The three of cups. Three is, three, three is a crowd. Somebody has probably made a poor choice. They may have uh, gotten themselves in a situation that was... Uh, it looked good. It looked good. There was some sort of sexual attraction. Could have been a third party situation. I don't know. You get the three of cups reversed. I don't know if somebody cheated. They made a wrong choice. This is about lovers. is about choices. Somebody made a poor choice. Now there's a disconnection. There's a conflict. There's disharmony. And there's a separation and a detachment. I mean, the lover's reverse is a detachment. Detaching from somebody that you're not meant to be with. I mean, that is the meaning of that card reversed. So there could be an upcoming... Oh, my God. Just confirmed what I said about it looking good. All it did, it looked good. There was somebody was tempted. They were tempted for all the wrong reasons by the looks of things. I mean, by the looks of things, they were tempted for the long, wrong reasons. So somebody got themselves into an unhealthy situation with another person, and now they probably regret it because now they're stuck. They're bound. They exchanged that energy. Whoever they got themselves involved with doesn't want to let go. So, false contract, karmic contract. But then we have these people, this is obsession. Somebody is obsessed. They're obsessed. So now, you know, somebody got themselves engaged because it looked real good. There was some sort of uh, magnetic attraction, you know, and magnetic is like a sexual attraction, right? So somebody uh, has gotten themselves into a situation with somebody that is now obsessed over them. There's obsession here. Um, addicted, right? Addicted to this partnership that isn't meant to be. One person is addicted. You know, they can't let go. So this is a very unhealthy situation. It's one-sided. One person doesn't want to have anything to do with it anymore. But the other person is obsessed. You think about this. This is fantasy. It really is. What does the devil bring? The devil brings fantasy. It, it will make you obsessed. It will make you uh, addicted. So the devil does sell fantasy. So now we have uh, a bunch of, you think about it this way, we have a bunch of other readers that sell fantasy. Okay? That's a devil energy. Keeping somebody bound to a partner that isn't meant to be. So I don't know who needed to hear that message, but it's pretty darn clear by these cards that we have somebody that is obsessed on a fantasy. They're being sold it. The devil sells. A, the devil's a salesman. Salesperson. Somebody is being set, sold. An unhealthy situation. It looks good. It felt really good. But. It's not meant to be. You're going to have to make a better choice. You're going to have to break free from this fantasy. From, or from this toxic bond. This addiction. This obsession. Somebody's having a hard time letting go. 
because they were sold that ultimate fantasy. permanent loss. It's a major permanent loss. Major, major, major. We have three cards. Every single one of them is major. When you get majors, majors are uh, universally driven. The universe has uh, or a higher power per se is trying to break somebody free from a false foundation. A false sense of security. You're going to have to break free from it. You're going to... This is a universe. Tower is a universe card. Universe is going to cause some upheaval. Health problems. Fights. Things that you never saw coming. There's going to be some disruption. For whoever has been engaged in this fantasy... Somebody has been clinging and trapped and tied to a false <laughs> contract based on lust, obsession, instant gratification, looks, it's false, the devil energy has sold somebody a false sense of security. And that false sense of security is crumbling. It's crumbling. Now, the, the, the tower reverse is not avoiding. It's not avoiding. It's not. It's an extreme. Extreme problems extremely unstable, extremely toxic, extremely unhealthy partnership. Extremely. It's extremely unhealthy to hold on to somebody that doesn't want to be with you. It's extremely unhealthy to buy something that just looks good when you know it's going to break down really, really fast. So anyway, um, we have some, and this is a, the devil is a card of looks. Really it is. It looks good because it's a shadow. Devil is ruled by the shadow. So it looks, what you see is not what you get. It's a sales person energy. Somebody is being sold a false sense of security. Something that isn't real, it's not stable, it's not solid. And this is a this is a permanent loss. It is a permanent loss. It's a painful change. This is something falling apart, something that has ended. You never saw it coming. It happens really, really, really fast. This is health problems. There is definitely some health problems here. And it's because of uh, some sort of toxic behavior, unhealthy behavior. Somebody could even have a sex addiction. I'm not sure what it is. It doesn't have to be a sex addiction, but whatever this is, they have built up something based on false pretenses, based on what they have been sold by a, uh, a devil energy, okay? Unhealthy, toxic salesperson. Somebody has, has basically said, oh, this is so great. This is so beautiful. It's the best. It isn't. It isn't the bad. It may look really good. It may be shiny. It may look good. It, it whatever this is being sold, it's it's the ultimate, right? It's the ultimate falseness as well.
Three of Swords reversed. That is leaving the past hurts behind. Let go. Let go of the false sense of security. Stop suffering. Stop, put, stop hurting yourself. It's time to heal. It's time to recover from this disaster. This is a disaster. You must break free from this toxic situation that has been causing you all this pain. Whatever it is, you got to break free from it. Somebody's been, the devil wears a mask. The shadow is a mask. Masking pain. It's time to release that pain. It's time to heal from that uh, false contract that wasn't meant to be, that you were told it was. You were told to hold on to it by somebody that is probably not a good person. Not stable, not solid, not real. There's no reality here. None. All is not as it seems. We have somebody that is obsessed. You're obsessed with holding on to a false foundation, a false sense of security that has already crumbled. It's already caused so much fucking pain. Break free from it. It's not meant to be. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. It's time to leave this pain behind and allow yourself to heal. Stop holding on to the false sense of security. You got a new opportunity waiting for you to go down that path. It's not going to be easy. This is a new opportunity coming. A new enterprise. Have some common sense. It's not going to be easy to start over, but you're being given an opportunity to start fresh down a new path someplace else. But you got to be realistic and you have to follow through even though it's not easy. No looking back. No looking back at the false partnership that isn't meant to be. That you were sold, right? You were, And you're still being sold it. We got a lot of people that sell it. Common sense is needed here. Common sense. It's not easy to break free from situations that felt so good. You have to find your strength to overcome that toxic, unhealthy situation. You have to move on from that fantasy, from that addiction, from that obsession. You're going to be given an opportunity to turn your back and heal from this. But you're going to have to sever ties with your fantasy. Look beyond. Realize what you're being sold. Open your eyes. Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse is a weak woman, a weak individual, weak feminine. We all have, we all have masculine and feminine inside of us. Yes. But the Empress in reverse is somebody that is needy, somebody that is smothering, somebody that doesn't know her value. She allows herself to be disrespected because she doesn't know her value. Tries to force things. Forceful. forceful. So we have a forceful individual here that is... Well, the Empress Reverse is letting go of the past, past with that Three of Swords. Going down a new path. The Empress Reversed is no growth. There's no growth. 
There's a lack of abundance. This person doesn't take very good care of themselves, doesn't take very good care of their children, isn't a very good wife, isn't a very good mother, not very loving, not very nurturing, doesn't have anything of value or doesn't know her value. So the Empress is an individual in reverse that doesn't know her value. She's holding on. This Empress in reverse is holding on. The feminine energy is holding on to a false sense of security. When she should be leaving it behind and going down a new path. So whoever this Empress is, this Empress in reverse that doesn't know her value, who has been disrespected, who has been through a lot of pain, and she hasn't released her pain. She's still very needy. She is very needy. She's she's not ready to own up to something because she's in reverse. Feels like there's a new opportunity because that opportunity is coming for her, for the feminine. But, but you know, we all masculine have feminine in them as well. Ooh, it could be dealing with a Leo. It could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. A lot of majors here still. There's a lack of courage. Vulnerable. This is a very vulnerable individual who isn't very strong. This is a weak individual. Very, very weak. Very vulnerable. Seriously doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. Uh, very unhealthy. Unhealthy, has unhealthy habits. This individual has unhealthy habits of clinging. Very clingy. Clinging to false partnerships. A, oh my God. Because of their needs. Because of, it, it's like they need to prove themselves because of their needs. Maybe they had an absent mother or a mother or somebody that didn't take care of them when they were a child. So this is a very weak, weak individual. doesn't believe in themselves, depressed, doesn't have any respect. Now, this is a person, this one doesn't have any, neither, both of these cards together. That We have a person here that doesn't have any respect for others and they may be chasing, they may be chasing somebody who's already in a commitment, who's already attached because they lack respect for others. That's what this is, too. So this person that is going after somebody that is in an attachment because they're obsessed with their own needs is going to be experiencing some upheaval because they lack respect for, you know, a higher power. They It's like all about me. That's what the devil brings. It's all about you. It's all about your ego, this kind of ego and pride. So I feel like we have somebody here that lacks respect for others and they're very, very needy. They don't care who, if this person is in a commitment or if they're attached to somebody else. They're going to chase them. They're going to do whatever it takes to get this person. And they're going to end up falling flat on their face and experiencing some upheaval karma karma when they should just be knowing their value and turning their back and walk finding the strength to restrain themselves and hold their head up high it's a very poor character here we have somebody here that has a has a poor character they're so needy so 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 needy that they don't care this is a very selfish individual so we have a selfish individual that is obsessed with another person they're obsessed with having their own needs met their own desires. So they're, 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 it's almost like they're trying to steal. They're trying to steal another person's mate or something like that. This person's going to, whoever this person is, is going to experience um, some chaos. Extreme. It's extreme. It's, it's, it's going, some sort of shock, something is going to happen. Now, this is a toxic, unhealthy situation. I feel like there's been... A, remember, I saw the Three of Cups right from the beginning. I think there's been a third-party situation. That's what this is. Somebody's wife may get involved. Or the other woman. There's going to be a shake-up. 
There's definitely going to be a shakeup. Somebody made a poor choice and got involved with somebody based on false pretenses, based on a lust per se. It's lust. It's lust. And the other person is probably, it looks like to me like the other person going to cause an uproar because they had their needs are no longer being met. They're obsessed and they're addicted to how they felt when they were with that person. And now there's going to be an uproar. That tower reverse, the uproar. Uh, uh. Oh my God, we have the moon reverse on the bottom. Something is about to be revealed. Somebody's been hiding something. Truth, something is about to be revealed. Something's coming. This is a reality check. You can't hide from it. Some, and, and, and there's definitely an absent mother here. Somebody who hasn't been taking very good care of their children or they didn't have a mother when they were uh, a child. This is an absent mother, and this is an absent mother as well. So there's some sort of absent mother here, you know. And now, when you, you know, sometimes when that happens, you, you know, have this need to be mothered, this need to be taken care of. It's a low self-esteem, a low self-worth. So it's, it makes you vulnerable. We may have this this salesman or this very strong entity that portrays themselves to be somebody that they are not and they have lured in a vulnerable individual who, you know, doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth. They've lured this person in. This person is now addicted. Anyhow, this is a new doorway that is opening up a new opportunity um, to leave this behind. Oh my God, no respect for commitment. No respect for commitment. No respect, both these cards, for commitment, for marriage, for whatever. So whoever this person that doesn't have... And look at this, devil versus God mirroring each other. And this is going, you notice his hand is going down. So at, at this point, the Satan energy, the devil energy has won. God is not happy. You're going down. You're going down. You have no respect for commitment. You have no respect for God. You have no respect for a higher power. Get ready to fall down. Good luck.